girl and your friends bad too. Oh, he got the swag, so she drip the swag too. You a bad girl and your friends bad too. Oh, he got the swag, so she. Hey everybody, and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Summer Now, and if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit that like. Make sure you subscribe, and welcome to all the new besties, and welcome back to all my ride or die besties. Hey, how y'all doing? How's it going? How was the update for y'all? Because the update for me, I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. But it was cool, you know. It gave me some time to get some things together. And we are finally big, okay, with Love to Riches. Quavo and Jasmine and in this episode we are having the baby um I can't wait but a lot of things has happened since the last episode which was Quavo's birthday um a lot of things has happened so prior to the season starting Quavo got transferred um well traded is that what it's called yeah, he got traded, not transferred. He got traded. And so, we are in. Sing you died. Is that how you say it? And we are in a new location. We in the city of love. So beautiful. I love this world, y'all. Like, this world is just so gorgeous. But yes, y'all, so we got traded and all of that. And that was like shortly after um, his birthday that we got traded and we moved. And that was like in between Thanksgiving. So we really didn't celebrate Thanksgiving. It was just a lot going on. Um, Jasmine's mom kind of flaked on her as far as meeting. We were so close and then like her mom changed her mind. And that was really heartbreaking on Jasmine because you know she knew that the baby was coming at any moment, any minute. And that for her mom to like flake on her, it was just really, really sad. But we made it through, okay? We packed up the house. We packed up things that we wanted to take along with us. We, you know, redecorated the baby's nursery how we had it um just because we really love that space theme and you know we found this house well our realtor found this house for us and we got it all nice and decorated it's still some things of course naturally because we just got here not that long ago like we got here a couple days after thanksgiving so um you know we've been trying to get it all together and piece by piece bit by bit and it's actually coming along I absolutely love this house. I got this house off the gallery and then I fixed it up. So yeah. So um yes y'all like I love it. Like I said, we took some things from the old house and brought it here with us just because you know we're gonna be far away from family and all that other stuff. I just absolutely love this house. So we have basically two front doors and I didn't know that we cannot see the numbers so I might have to move the numbers but yeah so this is the front we have our pool we have our jacuzzi right there like I love it I love the front I love the front okay let's go in knock 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 okay hold on I'm trying to get I'm trying to make sure y'all got a good view okay all right so come on in and this is the entryway okay y'all when i was putting up these pictures they had so many pictures i didn't even take put up the maternity pictures that i took of them so many pictures y'all so many pictures all right so as of right now this room is empty um I just have like her stuff in here and then I have like uh the baby stuff car seats and strollers and stuff um it's almost Christmas I think we got like two more weeks until Christmas 
So probably after the baby gets here, you know, they'll start setting up for Christmas. Because I want to do like this big old huge shinding at the new house and everything like that. So, um, you know, I will then set it up for Christmas. But, you know, that's something... Oh, I didn't even know that was like that. That's something that, um, you know, we didn't want to deal with right now because we worried about the baby. The baby is literally coming at any moment. So then this is our laundry area. I want to put a basket right there. So that's why we have that empty space. And then um, a downstairs bathroom. And this time, it's giving really just, like, muted colors. Like, you know, they were vibrant colors. But, you know, we're giving just some basic gray with the pops of color, which I absolutely love. So then we got our hallway with the windows. And as you can see when, you know, from the outside, this is what you'll see from the outside. And I absolutely love, like, all the pictures that they have took over the years it's just all over the house and it is crazy so then we have the kitchen and since it's so long i did the um dining room like this well like the eating part like this and then over there will be like the formal dining room for christmas and stuff like that and look we just starting to get our baby stuff so we got the outside love 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 um very spacious not so much on the backyard it's mainly in the front down there it's her little garden i do want to do more with that um just because she really loves being outdoors i'm not sure because we're here in winter and as you can see there is no snow but i'm not sure if like the first day of winter you see snow so um I'm assuming that Ciudad is going to be a place where we really don't get that kind of weather. So if that's the case, then, um, you know, I want her to have like a nice size garden area. Even though it's not that much space, I may kind of like remove some stuff and um, do it like that. So as you can see, there's a lot of like balconies all around the house in certain areas so like we have this like little outside eatery if you wanted to come outside and enjoy the weather we have our crystals over there and um so yeah it's a lot of balcony space so we're gonna come back through and we're getting ready for the baby you know we are having a home birth so we just have like our ball and stuff and then this is the living room i kind of wanted to keep like their concepts of loving like green and orange and things of that nature so yeah i kept that and love it furniture wise man it's hard getting the baby stuff especially if you upgrade it to like the dx11 because oh my gosh some of the stuff needs to be updated so it was hard trying to get some of this baby stuff to work but yeah so this is their living room and then over here we have their shelves and like i said just so many pictures of the beginning and all of that we haven't heard from Makina or seen Makina, but she did call us the other day asking for $10,000. She must know that we're a basketball player. So this is their office. Each got their own side. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. I love it. Love, love, love. And again, it's just, you know, we're still working on the house. Still so much, but, you know, when you are what eight and a half months pregnant you know your husband is training a lot or fiance shall i say is training a lot child we can't be um getting this together you hear me we cannot so okay we're gonna go there last so this is where we're coming in for the birthing room and like i said it's a balcony over here and oh, yeah i've been playing stardew and i think i said this before so my controls is all crazy 
we had some of his toys out look at checkers i think checkers is trying to get ready for a bed um jasmine is the leap orange i mean not orange green and black i think it's the room and then they have like their own bathroom again everything is pretty much like the same of what how they had it like the color wise the color palette is pretty much the same um this is a bathroom i kept this bathroom the same no need to change it and then these are two empty rooms um so they'll be like guest rooms and we're coming in here last because baby boy finally has a name i was like so confused or not confused like up in air up in air of how i want it or what i wanted his name to be but i finally got it of course i kept it the same way because i really did love oh i have to fix that all right let's try that again okay so like i said i kept his room um the space theme just because i really love how it looks so yeah so i just kept it that way and is that the oh i'm about to say <laughs> the winds was going okay interruptions after interruptions so we went to the doctors um before we left and we got his final ultrasound look at him from a beam <laughs> look at him oh my gosh i can't i can't i can't and he has his own bathroom and then like stars i don't i guess because it's like low ceilings or whatever so hopefully i might well i don't want i might have to change the walls but his name is cash um i just wanted something really because like the last name is honcho and a lot of things really didn't mesh with honcho like that so it was like yeah just give him since his last name is like quirky or whatever the case may be let's just give him like you know a celebrity name and i just feel like cash is such a cute name but overall i love the house um yeah i think i might change the walls later so that and you know off screen so that way i can fix the windows if they need to be fixed or anything like that because i think that is what's messing with like the heights of the lights and stuff it's because of the low ceilings but i do i absolutely love it like i just love it i'm trying to figure out like i said because i want um her garden to be a lot bigger and right now this is the only space so i might either get rid of some of this so that way we can bring some more boxes along just so she can have a good variety and be able to just be out like enjoy it being outside so it is late. Quavo actually has been going. <laughs> He's just, I don't know. You know, I have like the Road to Wealth mod. So it's giving him a lot of like emotions um, as far as like his net worth goes. So I feel like I'm going to have to transfer some money into his account. So that way it won't give him these kind of moodlets because as of right now he is going through it i do not want to do this i'm so sorry jason what are you doing up all right so i have her doing like some she's girl come over here <laughs> since you're up why don't you come over here i have her doing like some erotic writing and things of that nature just something like little fun that she just got into doing um she was doing one thing and decided to do this so let's go ahead um and write this erotic story i guess because you know just being in love and being with her man so she is okay with being pregnant she got you know it together um once she hit the third trimester she actually got it together she understood like it's just 
emotions and wanting to be to have a good family. She wants to play this game so bad. But look at them. So he is off. Let me see. So he makes he he's now a starting player, which is good reasons of why he got traded. Okay. And he makes five hundred and twenty dollars an hour and he goes to work um Friday. So he has the next couple of days off. Why don't y'all play the little game? So um which is good for him because they're saying like the baby could be coming at any minute. So let's play woo 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 hoo with um Jasmine the only thing y'all and I don't even know how I can change it because he is so unattracted to her I've done everything that I could do to get him to be attracted to her again I don't know what happened it's the new system and I really hate it I really hate that like when I say because when you already have this relationship because I Thought he was like neutral if anything he was neutral and now he's like so unattracted to her i don't know what that is all about but it's so scary because he really really loves her okay he really really loves her but i don't know i don't know so today we're going to do some walking and we're actually going to have some camera well recordings mm -hmm. that we're going to send off oh, to TLC y'all so uh, he is oh, actually uh, going to do uh, like um, because he's like this new is family man boy? new hot guy oh, on the block they want to do like this little <laughs> um, labor and delivery <laughs> kind of vlog <laughs> they want him to do that so today <laughs> we're going to do a little walk in the park <laughs> to kind of get her body going and um, yeah any day, any moment, <laughs> she is there to have this baby. Uh, both of y'all breaths think I know it. Yeah. Both of y'all breaths think. This game is so freaking cute. If y'all have gotten love struck, tell me how do y'all like it so far? Oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and of course, she got her braids. She got her braids before we touch down. So she is labor ready. And I cannot wait. It's just so cute. She got her little stretch marks. Like, I can't wait. I cannot wait for the day. So, yeah, I think tomorrow we're going to go and do a little walking in the morning. Um,. First off, how are y'all feeling? Y'all could probably kind of get yourselves together for the day, actually. So why don't we just come up here? Because it's 3 o'clock. We can really kind of get our day started. So why don't you come in here and go ahead and use the bathroom. Take you... Do y'all just want to shower together? Let's just do that. Because um, y'all could really just go for a day for yourselves you know start the day off three o'clock in the morning and then y'all can come up here and like brush our teeth and stuff like i can't wait i cannot wait i miss this family so much you know like child too much drama and loving a family lp i was like oh give me back to the wholesomeness so i also um got like the little panda samas um pillowcases because i want her to be able to jump back and forth between um between everything checkers what's wrong with you where you at all right now let me see i should be able to I can't control. I thought I could control pets. I guess I can't. So, oh, look at them just being so cute. Go ahead. Uh, you can't yeah. use it while being together. They 
they not taking a bath? Hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm. Can't use it while being together in the shower. Did not know that. So let's go ahead and use the bathroom and then go ahead and brush your teeth. Um, so for him for work, we really just got to do a couple like off ball things. Of course, attending practice. That's just him going to practice. Um, we won't probably go to practice this week just because like they kind of know we're going to be having our baby pretty soon. So um i wish we could go for a walk with checkers i don't know if that's a thing so let's go ahead we're gonna need to put some lotion you see she got her braids yo she got her braids because it's that time it is that time all right so let's go ahead oh he gotta give her um the gifts that he has for her let's go ahead and apply the lotions um we did do some jewelry go ahead and apply and then what you want from her oh. go ahead listen if that means that y'all gonna pump this baby out just go ahead okay go right on ahead I can't even I'm not even gonna stop y'all I'm not even gonna stop y'all but yeah she got her raising like she ready she is ready she is she but she ready okay so yeah let them do their thing I'm excited for this new particular journey just cuz I feel like you know <sighs> I don't know i just feel like it's more things to come out of this since they moved you know i just hope that we eventually get to meet her mom and enjoy that aspect of life so we shall see but it's by the time they finish it'll probably be like six o'clock or whatever like that so we'll just go and eat some breakfast and then um I don't even think I can send checkers off to get like groomed because he's going to need to get groomed. I do. We fired our maid because she was not cleaning. So I want to do some things in the house. Just making sure that things is nice and clean. Laundry is clean. You know, I just want to make sure things is good. I want her to start drinking her tea. Um, it's not raspberry tea, but it's like hibiscus. And I'm just going to say that it's that. Because we really trying to get this baby up out of here. He is sad. And I want to be able to control him. And I thought with that mud, I could. And I can't. But check it. I want to get another pet as well. But I may not. I may not. Okay. Alright. Because y'all y'all going crazy for no reason oh it's bad food in here like i want to clean up i think i am going to hire them a chef so that way we can have some food in the house so we ain't got to worry about it you know you can just go in and get you some food um so i think that's what i'm going to do as well for today um it's a lot that i want to do today and for tomorrow as well so that way just in case the baby come tonight the baby come tonight come early in the morning like is she at that moment where the baby literally can come <laughs> the baby can come like after this like that's where she is at okay are y'all not finished oh my gosh girl you giving it to him huh but I love the house and we still have our wine I think it's not going to age and correct me if I'm wrong is it going to age even though it's not in a basement girl she a what not this just for him girl get you some he being stingy get you some root I 
I should even have to do that. But I just love this world, y'all. Look at my checkers. He's just sitting there. All right. First thing is first. Well, I think you did put some lotion on. I think you did. All right, go and um, brush your teeth because you need it. Come, come here and brush your teeth again, and then go to the bathroom. See, he doesn't even like how she looks. What's going on, Quavo? Tries to look away. Quavo is trying not to put his gaze at some nearby unpleasant looking naked Sam. What is that about? Like, that is so irritating to me because I don't know what that is about. I don't know what that is about and it's so irritating. Can I... It's like, what is that? How do I fix it? Can I fix it? All right. Can I fix it? No, you're not playing that. Actually, I need y'all to get something to eat. All right, I want to... Do I have something? Oh, okay. Girl, put your clothes on. Because he going to piss me off. Because he talking about you. Like, low-key. Is it because she's pregnant? Oops. I don't know. Alright. I'm going to get him to get like the clean up. We're going to hire us a chef. And then. Um, I'm going to figure out his. What's going on. Because honestly I don't know. Alright. Let's get some leftovers. Because you could be hungry. And then we can hire the chef. Um, I'm just going to assume maybe it's like the. The chemistry from something else all right so how do I hire can I hire is it under buy Oh, maybe I can't. But yeah, she got her braids. <laughs> I love it. Um, cause like he be satisfied, but then it's like when it comes down to anything else, he really be acting a fool. <sighs> I am gonna let's actually send checkers off to get groomed um just so he can have like a little day for himself because he ain't gonna be acting like we um we talk to that to him all the time and he be acting like we don't for checkers let him go to the groomers please all right so let's figure this out if i click on him right and I say attractiveness. Okay. Appearance. Okay. Fred H. Young adult. And I'm going to just say adult. 
hair, color, no. It does not conflict. Attractiveness, body weight. I'm gonna just say all three because I mean it's not like no big deal. Breast size, um, average, butt size. I'm gonna say all. Cause who are you? And then I'm gonna say average to low, right? All right. Now that might be too much. So, with that being said, I don't know what it is. Okay, if I go, can I change it? Can I change it? It's based off of the turn ons and turn offs, and I've changed like I've changed his turn ons and turn offs in case, so that way they can be compatible, and it still gives me this. Should I do it? We're gonna do it. We're going to do it. We're going to go to counseling. Because, you know, like his feelings could possibly still be hurt. I mean, she did say a lot of, you know, like wanting to get an abortion. No, girl. Like wanting to get an abortion. She said a lot. And I'm not even going to, you know, blame him for feeling such a way. Cause you know that could possibly, but it's like, no, you were just the cutest together, and you are acting like an ass now. But yeah, let's get our love together because like the baby's coming, and I just don't want anything. You're no, you're no. I just don't want nothing to mess that up, you know. So let's go ahead and let's go to therapy and then maybe we can do like some other little things that are kind of help us out okay so Quavo is going to get groomed and we're going to go and we're going to get this love thing going okay so let's start with you Quavo close your eyes look within what feelings are you sensing in your body today I'm confident I'm very confident, okay? I'm glad you're voicing your feelings. You're being your own true self. You are so much better than my last client. Can you believe it? He thought he was an actual bear. Okay, I don't know what that means for me. I just want them to, like, like each other. And it's just so much. Like, hello? And for her, I don't know. Really? Because she's in like, she has back pain. You know, like the baby is, I can't complain for her. If your mood is good, that's great. It's important to consistently check in with your, ourselves. Like a mailbox. Be a mailbox. She is. Like I just want her, her to be okay. You know what I'm saying? As well. And I feel like it's unfair that he is kind of acting this way. So, attraction. Yeah, let's talk about our attraction because Quavo, you put a baby in this girl. Don't be acting like that to her. You better not be cheating. I will fight you. I will come into the game. I have a sim self in here and I will get her to beat you up. Okay. If he maybe just combed his hair in a while, maybe I'll be more attracted to him. But no, I can't go on like this. Whoa! Let's vent to each other. 
Oh, wow. Wait a minute. This is supposed to be helping us. At this moment, we do not need this, really. Okay, well, this every point didn't go exactly. We will, uh, no, what did I do? I was hoping that it will help him with his attraction. I did not mean for it to go like that. I wanted it to help with his attraction because he really is. Why are you acting like you're hungry? Oh my gosh. No. Quavo. No. I'm scared to even look at it. What does it say? I did not want this pressure to be on her. Oh my gosh. Apologize apologize right now apologize can we apologize smooth apology please please apologize right now apologize so Nimutuni. Uh-huh. Apologize. Because at the end of the day, y'all love each other. Abo, Zamona Sarah. Blow a kiss. Compliment her looks. Y'all love each other. And I'm not gonna allow y'all to throw this relationship away. Chef Lit Sacramento. I'm soon bad at morning. I'm just saying. Meshka trainee, possum rubina. Wooney cross bronca. Manji. Vush. Luna. So they need more therapy, which I feel like, you know, we will be doing because um, after the baby comes and we spend, you know, our quality time with the baby, we will um, be doing a lot of therapy sessions for the wedding. All right. Now I am looking. And I saw it. And watch, I can't find it. I'm looking for the little thing so that way we can walk. And I saw it. And watch, I can't find it. It was like over here, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, here you go. All right, so let's. Um, should we do a power walk or should we do a walk? Let's do a power walk um, around the park with Jasmine. Let's do that. Hmm. But yeah, I wanted them to continue like to do therapy just because it is something that is needed, you know. They have a, mm. I want their relationship to be strong. I want them to, you know, Ooh. to be able to get through things Ooh. and not end. Because their relationship started out as just being friends. And I kind of don't want them to regret, like, their friendship or regret getting with each other. So, yeah. Uh, oh, we gotta get our membership. Huh. Okay. So, yeah, they're walking. <laughs> he said, we getting this baby up out of you, okay? We getting this baby up out of you. So, we're gonna do this walk. And, um... Hmm. Oh, she looks so cute. Oh, Quavo is back. Um. Yeah, okay, we'll do it like that. Yeah. Huh. Um, look. Uh, I love it. Okay, hold on. We gotta get a picture of this.
both of y'all are just some nasty messes but let's get a picture yep they're just so cute <laughs> And you know, they want them to talk about it. Just be like, you know, I mm. really just wanted that therapy mm. session to kind of, because we about to enter a new whole life and I just want us to be able mm -hmm. to really process our feelings and stuff and not hold it back. And she's like, I mean, I just, you know, you once looked at me differently and I know I was going through a lot and I don't want you to hold no grudges. Mm with me you know oh boy. I want uh -huh. I just don't want no grudges being held like I want you to be able to respect me like you did before I want you to love me again then I feel like I was trying to get rid of this baby because I was happy she was happy like happy is just things happen and he's like, I know your mom not, you know, flaking on you is something that really hurt you. But, you know, you got to realize, like, I'm here. And I don't want you to take that for granted. You know, I don't want you to take that for granted. And I felt like you did. And that suffers, like, you know, that could be true. I'm going to help you out. Because we still walking. You know, that could be true. She was so invested in wanting to see her mom. And she kind of, like, was pushing away someone who was there from the beginning. So, but we're going to make it right. I just, I just don't want them to fall out of love. I don't want him being this up-and-coming basketball star I just don't want that uh, you know <laughs> some girl some floozy can kind of try to make her way in and I don't want that I don't want that at all so let's go ahead this was a good walk they'll go home and take a shower probably order some food <laughs> Oh, look who came to visit us. Makina. Share kind words. Zula. Oh. Oh, Chopa. Is there a All right, but let's go and um talk with Makina. Where are we at? I'll be forgetting. Okay, we're right here. Makina is here. Yeah, let's um let's go here and then let's invite Makina in. Invite in. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. I need to figure out how to. Let's come over here and take a, a shower. A quick little shower. Because we don't need that. And let me see how she is feeling. She could probably like take a nap. If she wanted to. Take a checkers. And here they are. Okay. What's up, Jim? Yeah, what's up? Like, you can come on in. And we can, like, ask her how she is doing. Let me say friendly. Um, small talk. Ask about her day and stuff. 
Okay, yeah, we go for it. New yet for night? Day. So yeah, I wonder if they're gonna ever have kids and stuff. Cause she is married. <laughs> she married that um that Buster. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, growing pains. Let's share family secrets. I want to know if she's wanting to have kids. How do you ask that? Um, I don't even know. Curious inquiries. Maybe Let's ask about family. <laughs> and then go Let's go ahead and put some In a lotion on. My semblance, you. Yeah, she's married, but she. I'm assuming she's not pregnant. So let's come down here and say hey to. Wait, hold on. I can ask for a blessing. Why would I be asking? Well, I guess because she doesn't really have any other family. Wait. X for blessing for wed? I don't know if I did this already. Quavo, I want you to kind of like order some food. Why don't you go ahead? Oh, you need like a little nap too. Why don't you come up here? Be like a champion. Oh, this needs to get. Why don't you fix this? Oh my gosh, there's so much that needs to be fixed. Alright, so I'm going to get Quavo to repair that. And Makina said, I'm so honored that you asked. Of course, you have my blessings. I'm so pleased for the both of you. Girl, what? Girl, why are you being so mean? <laughs> she was like, I need to take a nap. So go over here and take a power nap, please. Because I don't even know why you being so mean. I right, go ahead and mop all that up. Don't you do it. Checkers. He has to go potty. X to go potty. I thought we taught you that. Flirty withdrawals. Oh, she's coming up here to vacuum. Okay. Um... I think her water just broke. <laughs> um, I think, I think her water just broke. She came up here to vacuum, and the next thing you know, she said she's just starting to have these contractions. Hello? Did it? Oh, the Therapy is a scam. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. Hello? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. She is. She is in labor. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She is in labor. Oh, my God. She is in labor. Y'all. Didn't I just say any moment, any time? And look at that. I feel like I can tell him that I'm in labor. Right? Can't I tell him? Um, is it under romance or something? I 
All right, it is a lot going on. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up because I want, I know there is a way that I can say that I am in labor. He's tired. <laughs> what? There's so much going on. All right. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Do he not know that she is in labor? She. You're in labor, right? Yeah. Okay. First off, let's go to the bathroom. Come in here. We're going to take a little nap. Okay, because it's going to take a little minute. So let's come in here, take a little nap. Go to the bathroom. She is hungry, so let's get us something to eat. Let's go ahead and get us some leftovers. Um, I don't know if maybe because it's just like right now it's just contractions, so he's not really getting it. So, which is cool, because we're breathing at home anyway, okay, but we're in labor. I don't, I'm assuming her water didn't break, so we're good, okay. So, we're just going to keep things going until we can't. Because she seems to be pretty much in a good mood. Um, actually, why don't we bring that out? And why don't you begin recording? So it's like, hey guys, this is the start of my labor and delivery vlog. Um, there we go. Okay, I was about to say, like, when is it happening? So we keep getting contractions. They are about five minutes apart. Um, yeah, let's kind of, let's give him oh. his special smooches. Let's um cheer him up. Right now Quavo is sleeping, you know, the contractions isn't that bad. They are kind of getting closer now, so I think I am gonna be waking him up pretty soon. Cause what is she saying? Okay, baby kick, baby movements. She's like, Yeah, at first the contractions wasn't that bad, but now they're getting there. Um I am doing a home birth so right now i'm just trying to get some food keep my energy up and quavo how we feeling okay good all right quavo come down here please yeah the contractions all right quavo get up <laughs> get up child get up the baby is coming get up get up the baby is here the baby is here okay do that and then like wash your hands okay so girl we don't have time to be chatting come over here please I want you to eat come in here please come in here where you go where okay thank you come in here I want you to eat your food. You're not really hungry. So let's put that down. Okay. Let's ask Quavo for a back massage, please. Let's kind of get our... Um, uh, uh -huh. Yeah, like Quavo. Yes. The contractions are getting worse. Your niece, Rebalfa? Uh, you know, can you give me a back massage? So he's like, yeah, babe. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get this back massage. Um, I do want her to be a little bit more comfortable. 
So I am going to change our clothes. Um, let me see. Change our clothes. Go back. So this one. Warren Wagga charm. Huh? You're doing great. Hey, mm. You're doing really great. Crimbo Darfy bread. Hey, mm. Sabo. Okay. Therapy was such a mistake because now they kind of are. Oh, hello, yeah, Waterbrook. Oh. Her Waterbrook. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then we got to put it back in our inventory. Ugh, I really hate the fact. Oh, first of all, let me get rid of this plumba. Her water broke, y'all. It's it's happening. Her water broke. Okay, line effects disable. It is happening, y'all. Her water broke. <laughs> water broke it is happening oh my gosh okay so we're at a gold time now okay so i'm gonna put it back in her inventory all right let's end the recording so that way we can get it please quavo go ahead and clean that up it is Go time now. Okay. So this is one of labor vlog. Okay. So when I put it back in my where is it? Alright, let's put this put it back in the inventory because I don't know if it like automatically charges it when we go into the inventory okay yeah it does all right so then contraction pains like i said they're now coming at a more um they come more frequently it's just that they're manageable so she can rest up and all of that but i want her to kind of she has to go to the bathroom again what the hell is this People just coming at our house. So I want her to go use the bathroom. And Quavo, I kind of want you to make sure. Um, I feel like we should. Why can't. Like, how do I hire? Is it the refrigerator that I can't hire? I thought we could hire someone to cook for us no why can't I is it like on I don't think it's on the phone is it on the phone let me see hire a service yeah, it's not on the phone. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to have to order some food. And just hopefully... But it's like no breakfast. No, well, I'll worry about that later. I'll probably have to find us a chef and get them to come in and cook for us. So, are you going to the bathroom? Go to the bathroom, please. Um, he just wants to kiss her. I'm going to have him kind of help her with the belly. And we'll probably do some more massages. Um, and then we're going to go into the water. I'm kind of trying to make it to where so we call the doctor literally at the last minute. Quavo, no, please. Come here. Go here, please. L literally. Yeah, you like it. You've always liked gaming literally at the last minute um friendly i kind of i know there is a way okay let's offer her a foot massage 
she's so uncomfortable but yeah let's mm -hmm. offer her a foot massage and then i'm going to get her to go either in the bed like are we going to labor in the bed no okay so we might have to start here and like do some cuddling but yeah we're gonna give a foot massage he's like babe it's gonna be okay okay we're gonna try to get you as relaxed as possible see the thing is he doesn't know that she is in labor it is a way to tell him y'all and i know it There is a way. Is it under romance? Physical intimacy? There is a way to tell him that you're in labor. Um, friendly, is it small talk? I used to say hi to the baby. There is a way, because he's not really reacting. Oh. Mm -hmm. ah. Like I want him to. Okay. No. Dana, hmm. Herb. She's like, babe, you're actually really hurting me. <laughs> yeah, so our water oh, did break oh, um, not that job. long ago. Ah. So we actually are just here trying to figure out what we're going to be doing. I think I want her to come in here. Ah, but I want like a little radio oh, so she can have some tunes. Mm -hmm. He is hungry, mm -hmm. so I don't want to. He's fine. You're good. Here's your note. I want him to go and get something to eat. What's the best bit, Mama? Cannot sombre. Oh, no, no. My man can't wait to meet him. Leva, Zanahoy. Okay. So we're gonna do some more vlogging. Where is it? Okay. So let's begin recording. And then we're going to come down here and do some more on the ball exercises just so we can get ourselves together. Again, the contractions, they're manageable, but they're coming, you know, every few minutes. All right, so we made it to the hospital just because it's, it's a couple things that is going on and Jasmine isn't feeling the best. She started to see some blood. Um, yeah so it says your symptoms indicate that your baby is in distress and there's a high risk of infection due to the premature rupture of the membranes to ensure the best outcome for both you and your baby we need to perform an emergency c-section right away let me know when you're ready for your epidural well hello she didn't think when she was going into labor that it was being premature like what, what are we talking about here <laughs> Okay. Um, I'm confused. Wait a minute. She went into labor on her own. Oh. And he still is not like reacting to the fact that she is in freaking labor and in distress. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Orbital. Right, so we're beam. gonna go get our epidural because things is like happening. We really don't have like the answers. Um, so yeah, we're getting our epidural. I'm pretty scared because it just everything seemed normal at home, and then you know we, you know, I had a couple. Just so ah, we wasn't saying the same thing. The and then she started 
seem loved it's and like now. things wasn't going uh, as out. smooth at home and having to come to the hospital wait whoa. wait the Emerald Duel didn't take oh my gosh y'all the Emerald Duel didn't take this is why she really didn't want to come to the hospital. This is why she wanted a home birth. It's so much going on right now. It says something doesn't feel right. Jasmine is only feeling numbness on half of her body and she's still in pain. It's best to let the obstetrician hey, know to see if there's anything that can be it's done. This part, no bushing. Hello? Why are we talking to him? We need to get that done. Hello? Come on. Sushi. Get the replacement, please. Come on, Jasmine. Oh, my gosh. All right. Come on. Let's try to replace it. Oh, wow, well, this little girl is staring at me. Renique was sore. Like we can't even record our labor because what is going on? Oh Is it not taken? <sighs> no. This is why I wanted a home birth. Replace it, please. We can't do that right now. Hello, the Fender Boys. Ah, Eleni Madoy. Chemist Dora. Is it wrong? Yeah, it's a verb. Oh. I'm about to say, like, what the heck? Okay. This is not how I wanted Libra to go. I wanted her to have such a peaceful, wonderful labor and is not going the way that I'm, I needed to go. We had to go. I'm assuming we got to get... And like Quavo is really starting to piss me off. Because I feel like he's not like understanding what's going on here. And it's really starting to piss me off. Because again, this is not how labor was supposed to go. And I'm just... I'm getting annoyed. Arva? Because it didn't seem like we was having any issues. Okay. Alright, how the freak... Do we have to come up here? We have to do an emergency C-section. But she isn't dilated yet. So how do we... They talking about doing an emergency C-section, but hello, how do you do that? I gave you, we did the apple door. Y'all. <laughs> this is the worst. This is the worst. Check dilation. Oh. 
Check your dilation, please. This is the worst. Is she not fed up? I am. This is the worst. It's enough. Quavo oh, is doing okay. his own little thing. He's not near me. He's not by my side. I really just don't know what to do. We was cooling it at home till we started seeing blood. It just seems like a lot of things isn't going in the way that she wanted it to go. And I'm actually she quite good. sad for her. Because I wanted her to have a smooth labor. <laughs> and I felt like we're not getting it. You've got to be... Sh Jasmine, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wanted you to have a perfect labor and delivery I'm sorry werewolves and, sh and what not I'm so sorry there's a lot going on you know they're not giving you a clear response we have to give birth. No beam. Shorg. Oh, <laughs> just broke. She can't give birth? What is going on? Girl, come over here and have the baby. <laughs> Quavo is asleep. I know you're lying. I know you're lying. I just know it. I just know it. I don't even, you know what? It's all about you, Jasmine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Penavi by my mer kid, huh? Chilu. Tasp. Smile. Now you want to show up. Now you want to show up. Crying. Quavo, you just pissed me off. <sighs> he just pissed me off, y'all. I don't even, I don't think y'all understand how badly he pissed me off because. I don't know. I'm actually quite sad. I'm actually quite sad. Oh, was that good? Draw voice. Is that a cleaver? Huh? How very sure, sure. Oh. Or is that? Quite sad. Quaver. Oh, Pause it. Oh, Louie, Louie. 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 Oh, Louie, Louie.
say it. Who's that? <laughs> Quite literally say X for Shuabe Nubu Sarpava. So so youngy. He did not just ask for sex after I just gave her a traumatic one at that because I'm getting different answers. Or is that? Mm. Oh my gosh. I'm going to see y'all when we get back to the house. All right. I'm going to blame this chaotic birth due to just like some kinks with um, the Panasonic because ain't no way. So we're going to go ahead and breastfeed the baby because we actually need to. And I'm going to um, have him go ahead and add close to the washing machine because she actually needs to do that and I'm also get her to pump so let's go ahead and put that so that way she can pump so yeah, I'm gonna just chalk that up to like it just needs some kinks that needs to be made with um the pandas on mark because we should have been able to have our baby at Ooh, home you know what i'm saying like it was so chaotic for no reason like they saying one thing and it wasn't even that and he's not even hungry okay so go ahead <laughs> he's not even hungry okay go ahead and pump and i'm gonna give him a makeover before we end this episode so yeah so let's just go ahead and pump um okay well sure i thought he was always neat but sure let's go ahead and pump because she's not really feeling it um come in here and wash your hands wash your hands Okay, we have some our rings. We have three days of vacation, but I think we may, um, I might just have him go to work. So she's feeling good. Successful pumping sessions, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. I love that for us. I think I want to get her like a little mini refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Just I hate that once you get that, like they use the refrigerator for everything because they feel like they can. Mm -hmm. So we actually had a good pumping session. I kind of want her to bond with the baby. So yes. let's cuddle. Um, let's kiss his forehead. Um, oh. Are you coming up here? <laughs> Oh, think well. Just in a clunk us, Rabana. Ah, so shum. Bill Bar. Oh, you bala. Not you bragging to your sister. Well, since she is here, let's um show off to Makina. Oh, bala Oh, Oh, yeah. Go, go, Grissy. Is she coming? Is she coming? Let me show him off to Auntie McKenna. I love it. She's like, girl, look like you didn't even have a baby. Just got more junk in the trunk, I tell you that. No. Show off 
to Makina, please. Like, show off, please. Because while you sit here, I'm going to age him up. Let's see, that is Ooh. your auntie. Look at your auntie. Look at your TT. Mm. Mm. Are you showing him off? Pain trip. Me shepany. Was the fiend. Lock. Now, even though he wasn't there, he's completely in love. Like, even though he wasn't there for her, he's she is completely in love. And I mean, he's completely in love. And you know, the baby's here. We're supposed to be showing the baby off, but let's just go ahead and age him up so that way we can, you know, use what we have in the house, please. Because I do want to go ahead give her some rest uh -huh. um i let me before you do that let me put your milk in the refrigerator i do not want the milk to spoil so let's go ahead and do that Took both of them okay so let's go ahead yes and um let's go ahead and age him up Again, I'm a little bit on the upset mm -hmm. side because everything didn't go the way that I uh -huh. wanted it, it to go. But you know, we just go ahead and age him up. Because Makina, if they're talking to her brother, oh my gosh, and he is a Capricorn. Works out perfectly. He's a little bit too early to be a Capricorn. He would still be like a Sagittarius for real, for real. But that's fine. So I'm going to one, two, three. And he is a calm baby. Oh, yeah. oh look at Cash. Alright, so um uh wait, how is Cash? Alright, he's actually pretty good. So, Daddy, you're on duty. I'm going to have you come and pick him up. And then um, you can go to yes. sleep. And we're going to give him a quick, quick makeover. But the baby's here, y'all. It wasn't the way that I had plans, but he's here. And he's about to be perfect. Cash is a calm infant. Calm infants like to watch the world, are less likely to cry or become angry, and don't grow tired of activities as easily as infants. However, they are likely to explore the world on their own. Oh. All right, let's give Cash his makeover. Okay. This is him. And I'm in love. I feel like he's going to change. Um, what I would like to introduce. Like, he's going to change, like, as he grow. You know what I'm saying? So, I want, like, I love it. So, let's introduce to Makina. And then we're going to end the episode. Because we've been through a lot, okay? We've actually been through a lot. Like, <laughs> I really wish it, everything planned out. But, you know, it's a sense.
nothing is going to play out the way that you want it. Oh, we need to fill that up. Can I, like, cheat it? Wait, what happened? He not happy? Oh no, he doesn't like his TT. Oh no. He doesn't like his TT? doesn't like his TT, y'all. No, pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up so we can say goodbye and actually give him some affection. Mm. <laughs> Blow raspberries. Luby. Yeah. Look. Okay, so we're going to end it here, unfortunately. Um, it wasn't what we wanted. It was a little chaotic, but the prize, the baby, the bundle of joy is here, and I am happy. We have a lot of things to work on as far as their relationship goes. We have a lot of counseling to do. We have some things that we have to get together because it's wedding time like we want to plan the wedding we want to be able to start these things and we are feeling away and I don't want that to be the case I don't want that to continue on to travel through their relationship and make things worse and weaken them so um if you have any ideas on how we can fix things um, because, yeah, their relationship is, is there, but, like, this here, this unattraction thing, I hate it with the passion because it's so one-sided, and I don't know why, so if you have any ideas on how to fix it, let me know in the comments. I know this pregnancy was so chaotic, y'all, I'm so upset about it, but it is what it is. We are in our new house, our new space, um, I think think I'm going to actually have him kind of get himself together so I'm going to put cash down here and then I'm going to have him take a couple power naps just so he can fight through that day and I am probably going to get them a chef so that way they can cook for us and kind of get some meals in the house so that way we don't have to worry about anything I have a couple things up my sleeve going into the next episode so stay tuned make sure you like comment and sub subscribe let me know y'all thoughts in the comments about everything including this chaotic labor let me know and yeah y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i will talk to y'all later bye guys